Humans have wondered about the existence of intelligent life elsewhere in the universe since the dawn of humanity. Similar to how it is difficult to imagine that we are alone amid the immensity of the cosmos. However, for many years, all we have to show is that life exists on the planet. And this is about to change thanks to a groundbreaking discovery. Finally, researchers have found new evidence of life on one of Jupiter's moons. Which moon of Jupiter is home to life? What kind of life can it support? And what proof do scientists have? Jupiter is 601 million miles away from the Earth at its closest point and 365 million miles away at its furthest point. Despite the great distance, we have always been curious about what is happening on the planet. Jupiter, the biggest planet on the solar system, glows brilliantly in the sky despite being far away. The only planet that consistently shines brighter than the gas giant is Venus, while Mars occasionally rivals it in brightness. The size and makeup of the planet play a role in this, but the brightness of the planet also changes with the planet's distance from the Sun. How long will it take you to Jupiter? A spacecraft's journey takes time, depending on several variables. A craft's route is frequently unpredictable as it veers off planets, moons, and even the Sun to accelerate while consuming less fuel. For instance, the Galileo spacecraft launch in October 1989 arrived at the gas giant in December 1995 after traveling there for over six years. However, the ship traveled 2.5 billion kilometers on a rather dizzying course. To get to Jupiter, it circled Venus, Earth, and the asteroid Gaspra. However, Voyager 1 arrived at the gas giant in under two years. It was launched on September 5, 1977, and on March 5, 1979, it came the closest. NASA accomplished this by incorporating an ideal layout of the outer planets into the Voyager mission design. Another mission, New Horizons launch on January 19, 2006, followed a more direct course and on February 28, 2007, while en route to Pluto and other dwarf planets, it made a flyby of Jupiter. Jupiter was reached after just over 13 months of travel. Jupiter orbits the Sun every 11.86 Earth years, and the Earth catches up with Jupiter every 398.9 days as it revolves around the Sun. The gas giant appears to be moving backward in the night sky as a result. There are several moons around Jupiter. According to NASA, Jupiter has 53 named moons, with names for the remaining moons pending. Currently, it is believed that Jupiter has 79 moons altogether. Although the planet has many fascinating moons, the Galilean satellites, the first four moons identified outside of Earth, hold the greatest scientific curiosity. The Galilean satellites are named after Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei, who first observed Jupiter's four largest moons in 1610. Each of the four large moons is named to Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Io is the solar system's most volcanically active body. As it travels in its lightest elliptical orbit, Io's surface is covered in sulfur and various color forms. Jupiter's immense gravity causes tides in a solid surface that rise 300 feet or 100 meters high on the surface of Io, creating enough heat to support volcanic activity and driving away any water. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system larger than Mercury itself. Ganymede is the only moon known to have a magnetic field generated internally. Callisto's surface is heavily cratered and ancient, a visible record of events from the solar system's early history. On the other hand, a very few small craters on Callisto indicate a low level of current surface activity. Europa, Jupiter's fourth moon, is discussed in greater detail in this video. The search for life on other planets has taken many forms. Despite its hellish conditions, Mars, our neighboring planet, appears to have been habitable at some point possibly by Venus. However, in recent years, scientists' attention has been drawn elsewhere. What about Jupiter's moons? But first, how do scientists look for evidence of life on other planets? Dr. Annie Umblut, an expert of life in extreme environments, and Dr. Paul Kenrick, an expert of the early evolution of life, explains what they're looking for. Water. Almost all life processes on Earth can be broken down into chemical reactions. Most of those reactions necessitate using a liquid to break down substances and allow them to move and interact freely. Because it functions as a solvent, liquid water is required for life on Earth. It can dissolve substances and enable critical chemical reactions in animal, plant, 
and microbial cells. Carbon Many complex molecules are required to carry out the thousands of functions needed to sustain complex life. Carbon is the basic building block required by organisms to create organic compounds such as proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Carbon is one of the most abundant chemical elements on the planet and an essential component of all living organisms. As a result, one working hypothesis is that life on other planets may also be carbon-based. Nitrogen, like carbon, is an essential component of organic compounds, but it cannot do so independently. The complex proteins required for life comprise smaller compounds known as amino acids. Nitrogen, containing simple organic compounds, nitrogen is also needed to form DNA and RNA, which carry the genetic code for life on Earth. Many bacteria can convert atmospheric nitrogen into a form that can be used by living cells. Other factors that scientists consider are phosphorus, sulfur, and location. The location of the last item determines the correct distance from the sun or star that the planet or other celestial body orbits. Earth, for example, is in the Goldilocks zone, which means it is just the proper distance from the sun and is neither too hot nor too cold to have liquid water on its surface. What proof of life was discovered by scientists in Jupiter's moons? Europa has received a lot of attention. Europa, one of the moons, has a diameter of 3,100 kilometers, which makes it slightly smaller than Earth's moon. Europa's surface temperature never rises above minus 160 degrees Celsius as it orbits Jupiter around 718 million kilometers from the Sun. A new model developed by NASA scientists support the theory that the interior ocean of Jupiter's moon Europa could support life. Furthermore, they calculated that this water thought to be an ocean beneath the surface could have formed from the breakdown of mineral containing water caused by tidal forces or radioactive decay. This work, which has not yet been pre-reviewed, is being presented for the first time at the virtual Goldschmidt conference. It may have implications for other moons in the solar system. Europa is one of the largest moons in the solar system, and scientists have believed that the surface crust floats on a subsurface ocean since the Voyager and Galileo spacecraft flybys. However, the origins and composition of this ocean are unknown. Using information from the Galileo mission, the scientists from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California recreated the geochemical preserves inside Europa. According to lead researcher Mohit Milwani Deswani, they were able to model the composition and physical properties of the core silica layer and ocean. The researchers discovered that different minerals lose water and volatiles at various depths and temperatures. They added that the volatiles estimated to have been lost from the interior and found that they are consistent with the current ocean's predicted mass, implying that they are most likely present. Metamorphism, the researchers discovered, can form ocean worlds like Europa. This indicates that early radioactive decay or later subsurface tidal movement would result in heating and increased pressure, leading to the breakdown of mineral-containing water and the release of the confined water. Additionally, they discovered that this ocean was likely initially moderately acidic and had high levels of carbon dioxide, calcium, and sulfate. Their simulations and data from the Hubble Space Telescope revealed chloride, contrary to their initial assumption that the ocean might still be somewhat sulfuric. The water on Europa's surface likely became chloride-rich. The scientists concluded that the ocean could be quite habitable for life because, in other words, its composition was similar to that of the oceans on Earth. According to scientists, one of the best chances to discover life in our solar system is on the planet Europa. These findings might be helpful to NASA as it prepares to launch the Europa Clipper mission, which will look into the habitability of Europa. Their simulations show that the seas on other moons such as Saturn's moon Titan and Europa's neighbor Ganymede may have evolved through similar mechanisms. To determine if seabed volcanoes may have contributed to the formation of the chloride-rich water on Europa, the researchers have now linked up with organizations in Namibia and Prague. Recent high-resolution images of Europa from NASA show potential areas for further exploration to verify these findings. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. What are your thoughts on these new exciting discoveries of science of life on Jupiter's moon Europa? Share all of your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Well, that's all for now. 
This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.